Hare Krishna. We are continuing our discussion on the past times of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Goswami Maharaj. In the last session we saw his initiation. Now here we will see that how the Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur was very much uh, appreciative towards his Guru Maharaj. He was very happy that he received the blessing of Gaur Kishwardhar Babaji. Although he could not uh, actually physically associate with the Gaur Kishwardhar Babaji Maharaj, but on the transcendental platform, he was always associating with his Guru Maharaj and he was getting the instructions like that. So, once, you know, when he gathered few disciples, you know, one of the disciples while traveling, he asked Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur that, you know, your Guru Maharaj, I mean, the Gaur Kishwardhar Babaji Maharaj is Bhajanandi Sanyasi. He is just chanting the holy name of the God and he doesn't bother about the people of the world. He doesn't mix with the anyone. He keeps, you know, he, he, he is always, always sitting in the latrine. He don't have contact with the physical world, material world. But on the other side, you are just preaching, you are just mixing with the people. So I feel that, you know, you both are totally different in your intent like that. That time Siddhanta Sarathakur gave a very nice answer. He told, actually our purpose is one, even our intent is one and you know there is no disparity, disunity in our purpose. Now he gave a very nice example, he says, can you see that engine? You know, he, basically they were both you know, going um, to, to one bank of the Ganges to another bank of the Ganges to the boat. So that time there was an engine. <clears throat> so he showed the engine, he indicated the engine, just see that engine. So that engine is moving and you know moving the whole boat that engine is making so much sound and you know but can you see that battery which is totally unseen which is not at all moving no not only that but you know and uh, nobody noticed that battery but whole power of the engine is coming from that battery if the battery is not there how you will start the engine and that time he told that similarly my guru maharaj although he you know he is not seen by other people as working, but he is like that battery who is giving me the power to work. Yeah, I am like an engine which is going ahead, but he is the one, he is the force. Without him, I am zero. So he glorified his Guru Maharaj in that way. <clears throat> Once in the 1933, when he was again glorifying his Guru Maharaj, he told that his Guru Maharaj had given him the three instructions. One was, do not associate with the worldly people. Second was, do not initiate the disciples. And third was, do not go to the world of Maya, that is Calcutta. Do not go to Calcutta, he instructed. But then one disciple asked, but Guru Maharaj, you have, no, <clears throat> you have disobeyed all these no, instruction given by your Guru Maharaj. Then he clarified further that, you know, do not associate means do not take something from others. You know, I never took anything from others. I al always gave what my Guru Maharaj had given me. Then he clarified the second thing, do not initiate the disciple. He told that although I am initiating the disciple, but I am taking them as a Guru. So in sense, you are my Guru because you are inspiring me to continue my service to Krishna. So you are my Guru. You are not my actually disciples. So, <clears throat> and then he, the, the third thing was, you know, do not go to Calcutta. That time he told that, you know, I am not going to Calcutta. I am going to the Gaudiya Mutt, which is, which is based in Calcutta, which is actually the Vaikuntha abode of the Lord. So I am not going to Calcutta. I am going to the Vaikuntha. There, that's how he said that. So apparently it was seen that he was disobeying the orders of the spiritual master, but he was <clears throat> actually fulfilling the, the mission of his Guru Maharaj and he was pleasing to Guru Maharaj like that. So I remember... <clears throat> One similar incidence in this regard that <coughs> uh, there was a, so once there was a there was a history there was a historical incidence in this regard so you know the Ramanuja Acharya. So Mahapurna told Ramanuja Acharya that go to Goshti Purna and take the initiation from him. So then Ramanuja Acharya uh, went to Goshti Purna and asked him, 
to you know give me initiation. But the Goshti Purna told that I have one condition, I will give you the initiation, but you should not reveal this mantra to everyone. Because this mantra is so powerful, it will you know uh, make everyone happy. And I don't want to make this you know thing general. Ramanacharya said, Yes, Guru Maharaj, I will follow your orders. And that time Goshti Purna gave him the mantra, Om Namo Narayanaya, like that, and he was happy receiving the mantra. But as soon as he came out of the hut of the Guru Maharaj, he thought, people are so much suffering. I think I should give give them the love of Godhead which just I have received from my Guru Maharaj. So he went <clears throat> on the top of the temple and started shouting, Oh people, do you want to become happy? Please come here, please come here, I want to give you something, very important thing. And then people gathered and then he started chanting this particular mantra, Om Namo Narayana. And when people chanted this mantra, they were actually rejoicing the pleasure in their heart. They were, they were connected to the Krishna, like that. So apparently he was breaking, he was disobeying his Guru Maharaj, but it had the higher purpose, which ultimately uh, pleased the Goshti Purna. And similar way we can understand, you know, history repeats itself. The similar way Gauri Das Bambaji Maharaj was also happy with the Siddhanta Sarasthakur's effort. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.